Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a haul video. I feel like I haven't filmed one of these in ages and I also feel like I said haul really weird. Have you guys missed haul videos? I've missed haul videos. So I went to a Priceline which is like a drugstore makeup store here in Australia and a Sephora showcase and we got given some goodies. So this is going to be a PR haul but I'm really excited to share with you guys what I got. Can you guys see how big this bag is? <sighs> I'm excited to play with some new makeup. It's taken me a while to like settle into Sydney, but I'm finally getting my groove back. So hopefully you guys should see a lot more content from me. If you have any requests, leave them in the comments. So yeah, let's get into this haul. If you guys don't know what a showcase is, it's basically where the stores invite like a bunch of media and influencers. My nose is running. <laughs> Ooh. Sydney makes my nose run and I don't know why. I think it's the cold. So they invite a bunch of like media and influencers to like a giant hall and they have like here's a stall set up and you can go talk to the brands and the brands will like tell you about their product and then usually they'll give you like a sample of the product to try as well. So that's what I'm sharing with you guys, all the stuff that I picked up from the showcases. If you guys see anything that you really want tutorials with, let me know and I'll include them in tutorials. Now let's get started. I feel like my intro was just like a million years long. So, first up, what do we have? <gasps> Makeup Forever bag. So inside the bag, there's four products. We have the Aqua Link, Link, what? We have the Aqua Ink Liner XL Waterproof Eyeliner. I wish they had like little colors on the top so you could actually tell what color they are. <gasps> so this is the shade M10. Is it black? Yeah. The tip is like really fine. If you're good at liquid liners, I feel like this would be an amazing liquid liner. Can you see how black that is? And then this shade is D60, which looks like it's gonna be a brown. Oh, it's like a shimmery brown with like gold reflex in it. Not sure if you guys can see that well on camera. I think I was supposed to shake these before I use them. My bad. Then I've got two of the Aqua color paints. So I feel like these are gonna be like their lip paints. Oh, these are shadows. They're like lip paints for your eyes. So this is white. Oh, it's got like a pearly, pearly. It's got like a pearlescent finish to it. Whoa, these are really pigmented. That is really pretty. It does feel quite um, greasy though. So I feel like it wouldn't be that good on my oily eyelids, um, but I'll have to give it a go because it does say it's waterproof. I'm going to be covered in swatches by the end of this. Then the other color, oh, that color was L14, if you guys were wondering. And this is M82. Ooh, it looks like pink, a hot pink. Woo. Woo. Not sure how I'd feel about that color on my eyelids, but it does look pretty cool. This one doesn't feel as greasy. Maybe it's because it's like a matte finish. It is, it is a pretty cool color though. I should have brought makeup wipes. Oh, and so everything like high-end is going to be from Sephora and then everything drugstore is from Priceline, if you guys haven't figured that out. Next up, this is from Sephora. This is a Sephora hair sleeping mask. Is that, is that acai? Is that how you pronounce it? Acai? Acai? A K? No, it's definitely not a K. Ooh, so you get a hair cap and an overnight hair mask. I'm not sure how I'd feel about sleeping with like a hair mask on. Wouldn't your head feel like all greasy? I don't know, guess I'll, guess I'll give it a go and see how it goes. Okay, let's see what's next. I feel like maybe I should have like separated this into brands beforehand, but let's see how it goes. <gasps> next up we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. This is sun dipped. You guys know how obsessed I am with highlighters. Oh, it's so beautiful. There's such big pans as well. <gasps> So like buttery, <gasps> oh, it is so pretty. It's like a darker version of Mary Lou. Oh, I see another highlighter kit. Oh my God, guys. This is the Huda Beauty, Huda? Huda Beauty, sorry. Uh, 3D highlighter palette. I'm just like in heaven right now. <gasps> Santorini. Oh, oh, oh. But all of these look beautiful. I feel like I would use all of these colors. I'm excited. So many highlighters today, guys. <laughs> I feel like maybe I should just put this on my lap. Okay, next up is this box from Zoeva. You guys know Zoeva is one of my favorite brands. I feel like they're so underrated and they're such amazing quality. What are these? Ooh, another eyeshadow palette. Zoeva makes amazing eyeshadows. Ooh, so this is the Basic Moment eyeshadow palette. <gasps> Ooh, this is pretty. 
if this had like a black in it, I'd be like, yes, everyone needs to get this palette as like your go-to palette. Do you guys want a tutorial with this palette? Let me know. Oh, you know what? This palette would be good for... Oh, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> you know what? This palette would be good for... This would be like a, a very nice bridal makeup palette. I've got like foundation missing on my nose now. I can't believe I did that. What's wrong with me today? Okay, the Basic Moments Blush Palette is the other thing in this box, and then that's it. This is really pretty. Um, I do feel like the blush is a bit lighter than what I normally go for, but I love the highlighter and this like bronze contour shade. I feel like I need to do like a first impressions, like full face of first impressions video after this haul. What do you guys think? Okay, what do we have next, guys? We have a Tarte palette, guys. Oh my god, I love Tarte so much. I really want to get some more Tarte products and then do like a full face of Tarte makeup. Would you guys want to see that? Let's get this palette out. This packaging, guys. Oh, so beautiful. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, it's a face shaping palette. I don't know. They're all matte from what I can tell. I would have liked some shimmery shades in there, but I do really like the matte shades that they have picked in this palette. And I love the terracotta bronzer. I feel like they have that in another palette. They have that in another palette. Next up, I have another palette from Tarte. Oh my god, this is the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3 palette. I've heard amazing things about the Rainforest of the Sea foundation, so I really want to try that as well. Unfortunately, it's not in here, guys. I'll have to uh, stop by Sephora sometime. Oh, this packaging. By the way, I got my nails done for like the first time since high school the other day. I like it, but I feel like... I just chip everything so quickly and I only got them done like a week ago and like that's how much my nails have grown already. I feel like it's like too high maintenance for me. <laughs> oh guys, this palette, this palette like speaks to me. I wish these shades came as like highlighters and bronzers as well. They're so pretty. Oh, treasure. <gasps> oh guys. Next up I have some new makeup brushes. These are by Manicare. So I picked up a crease blending brush. These are like a really pretty ashy rose color. I'm really bad at describing things. And then I also have a precision highlighter contour brush, just a fan brush, and a buffing foundation brush. Next up, I have a Huda, 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 Huda Beauty <laughs> liquid matte lipstick. I haven't tried these before. Oh, this is Sugar Mama. Ooh, well, that is a really pretty color. It's like a peachy nude and it is really pigmented. I'll have to give that a go. What else do we have? Okay, I got another brush. This is from It Cosmetics. No, Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the A25 Pro Brush Face Detail Brush. This brush reminds me... Is there a trick to this? Okay, there we go. This kind of reminds me of the Sigma uh, High Cheek Highlighter F03 brush. This one's dirty because I used it today. They feel very similar though. Then I have, what do I have next? I've got some Real Technique sponges. These are the um, Smooth and Perfect blotting cushions. What do these do? Use dry to dab on foundation, smooth creases, or blot oily areas. Interesting. I'll have to give these a go. And then I also have some other sponges by them. I also picked up the four Miracle Complexion sponges. Touch up on the go. They're so cute. I just love anything mini. And then I also have something else. There it is. I have, no, oh, my bad. This is Eco Tools, not uh, Real Techniques. <laughs> this is the Eco Tools Perfecting Blending Duo. I haven't used Eco Tools sponges before, so I hope they're good. Uh, I used to use some of their brushes like back when I first started YouTube, like whew, four years ago now. Oh my God, <laughs> so long. And I really like their brushes, so hopefully their sponges are good too. Okay, then I picked up another eyelash curler because I'm forever losing mine. I don't know how. It's like eyelash curlers and hairbrushes. They just disappear on me and I don't know where they go. It's like, how, how do you lose an eyelash curler? I'm seeing some false eyelashes in here. So first up, there's a Huda Beauty Samantha Lashes. I've heard really good things about the Samantha Lashes. They do look really long though, so I'm not sure how they'll go with my eye shape. But they do look really pretty. And then I've got some Ardell 117s. I feel like I had more Ardell. Yes, 120 Demis. My favorite by Ardell. Then I got the Ardell Forks Mink Lashes. These look really pretty. These are the uh, 8 one ones. And then I got the Manicare Mink Effect Lashes as well. So I picked up Sophia and Emily. I'm not really sure if Emily would suit my eye shape because I've got like hooded eyes at the end. So I really need that like 
cat eye lashes, but these, Sophia, look right up my alley. There's still so much stuff in this bag. <gasps> Another Tarte product. This is the Rainforest of the Sea Radiance Drops. Oh, love the packaging. Am I supposed to shake this beforehand? <gasps> oh my guys. Oh, oh. Looks so pretty. This would look so nice, like mixed in with a matte foundation if you want that luminous effect, but you're like me and I'm oily skin and we can't really wear dewy foundations. I feel like that was a really long sentence. Then I have, <gasps> I swear I had another Kat Von D liquid lipstick in here, but I've got the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Roxy. It's like this bright purple. It is so pretty. Can you see that? Kat Von D are one of my favorite brands for liquid lipsticks. Their liquid lipsticks are so comfortable on the lips. It's just, oh, I do really like that. Maybe I didn't get another liquid lipstick. Maybe it was a lip liner, because this is the lip liner Lolita. Maybe that's what I got. It's hallucinating. So this is the Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liner in Lolita. It's like a perfect match for the Huda Beauty liquid lipstick. Then I have another Huda Beauty lip product. This is her lip strobe. This is the shade Shameless. It is amazing. It's got like pink and gold and green. I kind of want to put it on my lips right now. Oh, can you see that? I love it. You know what else I really want to try, guys? Those Ciate liquid lipsticks that you put on and they're like metallic matte and then you press your lips together and then they turn into glitter. I feel like everyone's using them on YouTube right now, but they look so cool. I really want to try them. Okay, moving on. We need to get through this a bit quicker, Kat. Next up, I have two uh, Cover Effects products. I've got the Blurring Primer. Let me just get it out of its box. And then I also have the Cover FX Mattifying Setting Spray. You guys know I love a good mattifying setting spray. I might give this one a go right now. Feeling a bit shiny. Oh, oh, it's got a very powerful spritzer. I wish it was a bit more misty and a bit less droppy. Next I have another makeup brush. Do I have any more makeup brushes? Nope, last one. So this is the NYX Professional Makeup Brush. Patent pending, that's not the name of the brush. 22 brush. At the event, the NYX girls told me that this is to use with their uh, drop foundation, which I also have this one. I got the shade TCDF11, and I have no idea if it's my color. Yeah. I feel like that might match me, but apparently this is the brush you're supposed to use with this foundation, so I picked up both. Okay, sticking with NYX, I got a bunch of the no filter finishing powders. These look really pretty and I'm always after some new powders because I go through them so quickly. Joys of having oily skin. So I picked up the shade NFFP08 uh, for like setting my foundation and then I picked up the shade NFFP01 to like set my under eyes and concealer. And still with NYX, I picked up the NYX Lid Lingerie Eyeshadow Palette. Honestly, I haven't had the best experience with NYX eyeshadow palettes. Like, I love their individual eyeshadows, especially their, let me find it, prismatic eyeshadows. I just organized my makeup and now I can't find anything. These ones, they're like in a little pot with the um, silver lid. These are amazing. So let's see how this eyeshadow palette goes. Ooh, actually, these first two colors look really good. The darker shade did feel a bit rougher. They still look decent, guys. I'll have to see how they wear on the eyelid. Then I have some CC Plus airbrushing powders that are SPF 50. That's insane. How do you get SPF 50 in a powder? I tried these powders on at Sephora and they were amazing. So I'm really looking forward to having these powders in my collection. So next I picked up a bunch of eyeshadows from Essence. I haven't really tried much of Essence, but they're such an affordable brand. So I figured I'd give them a go. I just got an email from Sephora letting me know that they have free shipping. But yeah, they're so affordable, so I really want to give these a go. Uh, so I got the shades Black as a Berry, Miss Foxy Roxy, Go Goldie, Black is Black, Morby Time, and Brownie Licious. So I got a few to try. They're probably the cheapest brand at Priceline, so I'm interested to see how they wear. Oh, something that's super exciting for us Australian girls, Models Own are actually bringing their makeup to Australia. I feel like we only had their nail polishes up until recently. So this is their uh, Sculpt and Glow highlighter powder. This is the shade Golden Sand. It is so beautiful. It, like, it doesn't have any like chunky glittery bits. It's just like a really nice sheen. Oh, 
So that is it for my haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't yet. Also, let me know what tutorials you guys want to see or just videos in general you guys want to see. And yeah, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys!